I S U P K. The images of the situation in Del Rio moved the controversial group Israelite School of UPK to mobilize their car caravan when they were allegedly turned away in Del Rio and they headed to Eagle Pass. We came around to the Mexico side. Now we're in Mexico to give our brothers the resources that we have for them. After an hour plus trip, the caravan made it to this park in Ciudad Acuña traveling through an area with a State Department travel warning level four for violence on the Mexican side due to the cartels. Being in a dangerous situation, that's being Black, Hispanic, or Native American. I mean, we'll, you know, our lives are dangerous. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one Lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something you can't afford. Agree, niggas across the board. Ain't no suckers round us. You was looking for the truth. That's how you found us. Now it's time to lace your boots up. Yeah. We got the order from the king, round the troops up. Yeah. Let's go to war and die defending this nation if we gotta. Uh. Ain't no stopping us now. The chosen people love the power, standing uh. strong like a man. Cause in our camp, it ain't no cowards. Uh. 144 grand, nigga, it's step before the sign. Rather die like a man. Nah, Ms. Bro. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street in Harlem, New York, under Commander General Yohanna. We have never done so with any other Hebrew Israelite camp or Christian organization. And since 1969, we've been teaching that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indian are the real Jews according to the Bible. And today we're going to bring out the hypocrisy in the Christian church because everything we've been taught in the church is the opposite of the Bible, man. And we got to bring it out for our people and our people only, man, which are the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians. And I'm going to start off with one scripture, and I'm going to break down what's going on according to this Bible that we have in the same church that our people don't pick up, man. The King James Version. Read. The book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, man. And we all know who rules the planet Earth today. It's damn sure at the blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians, we at the bottom. The Latinos are right now in cages at the border. The Haitians are right now being whipped at the border. You know what I'm saying? We have nothing in society to prove that we run the earth today, but we all know that it's one nation and one nation only that rules this planet earth. And we're going to get into something, read. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. And he covers the faces of the judges thereof, man. And we all know the so-called oppressor, which is the white man rules the planet earth. And since he's in power, all he does is just cover the faces of the judges thereof, the righteous judges, man, of the earth, which are from our people, the blacks, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. The oppressor had covered the face of the judges that were How do I know that? When you open this Bible and you read it, the Bible has a description of every person in the Bible, man. And we're going to prove it out of the same Bible that you have in the Christian church. And the first, the first person that we're going to prove is Christ, Jesus Christ today. We all know Jesus Christ is being a white man. When you, when you ask any Christian, when you say Jesus, the first thing that pop up in your brain is that so-called white Jesus right here that we have on the floor, man. You think Jesus is a white man. But inside of the Bible, Christ, it, the description of Christ is in the Bible if you didn't know that. And we're going to prove it today. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. We're going to show you out the Bible. Re Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. We're going to show you the description of Jesus Christ. Because since the, man, since the wicked was given to the planet Earth, all they did was cover the faces of the judges they were to make you think that they are the holy people, man. They are the powerful people on the face of the Earth. When the Lord called them wicked, man. And we must separate from them. So we got to show you out the true identity of the judges of the earth, which come out of our people, which is on this side, the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation of Jesus Christ. For those who don't know, the, the word revelation is, is about to reveal something. It's about to reveal Jesus Christ. It's about to reveal his, his true identity according to the Bible. Read. So I can jump down to verse 13. 
Come, come. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks. The seven candlesticks represents the seven schools that was built in Asia, man. We're we, we going to break everything down till you read. One like unto the Son of Man. The Son of Man, which is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Which I think in your mind is that white Jesus today. But we're going to show you the opposite of what you've been learning in the Christian church. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. Clothed with a garment down to the foot like this brother beside me have on, man. You got on a warrior's garment, man. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girl. Round the paps, round the midsection, man, like this brother have on right here, man. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool, man. White is the texture. It's like it. White is the color. Wool is the texture, man. And we all know that the so-called black man has woolly hair, man. And, and, and white is the texture. That means like a, a, a shade of gray. When we get stressed out, we all know about that hair color, man. We try to dye it. We try to dye it to hide our shame, man. But what you don't know is that white hair is wisdom according to the Bible, man. Keep that hair color, man. That natural hair color, man. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ's eyes was a flame of fire, man. Because he dropped wine. Not that blue-eyed devil that we have right here on the floor. That y'all claim to be Jesus Christ. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. And if you have a penny, we all know that the color brass is brown, man. That, that, that color right there, Jesus Christ, that's not Jesus, man. It said that his feet like unto fine brass. That right there is red, man. The so-called white man tried to call himself white because that word means pure. Anything about him is not pure, it's wicked, it's evil, it's opposite of the most high, man. But read. As if they burn in a furnace. And if you take that brass and burn it in a furnace, it's going to come out black, man. Darker than that. So Christ was a so-called black man, according to the Bible. Not this wicked, filthy person right here that's on the floor, man. That white Jesus that we have today that's been spread throughout the planet Earth. And the reason for that is because the Earth is given it to the hand of the wicked. The wicked rule the earth so he can do what he want. He has his own set of laws, which is not the laws of the Bible, man. It's totally the opposite. We must not live that way as of, the, of these other nations, man, which is the so-called oppressor. That's not our people that's on this sign. We have our own culture, man. We got to bring out every description so you can know because we do not know. We don't know our, our, our true prophets of the Bible look just like us. We think everything look like our oppressor, so we go to our oppressor for everything that we need. And that's in the Bible as well. But we're going to keep bringing out all the descriptions of the Bible because people don't know in the Christian church that this whole Bible right here has blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people in it only. And it has the true identity in it. And we're going to keep it going. Let me get um, Hebrews 7 and 14. We're going to show you something about the Bible, man. we got to break it down here a little, there a little, line upon line, precept upon precept, man. we got to break it down to you so you get the proper understanding because you're not going to get it in the Christian church. So I got the scripture. Uh, Hebrew chapter 7, verse 14. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. It is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Right here on the, on the side, man. Uh, so like Israel, uh, Jacob, fourth born son, man. Judah. He sprung out of the Judah. That's what the word showed for Jew. Judah is a tribe, man. The 12 tribes of Israel. Christ sprung out of Judah, man. For those who didn't know. And we're going to show you something. The reason why I'm bringing that out. Read. Of which, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Right, man. We're going to show you something. That Christ sprang out of Judah and we just proved that Christ was a so-called black man. Now you should ask yourself, what color is the Jews? Because right now in Israel, we think those presses are the, the Jewish man. We think they are the Jews. The, the, the holy people of the Bible, which are not. Like I brought out before the Job 9, 24, man, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, and he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Those Jews over there in Israel are imposters. They are not the real Jews. The real Jews are you so-called black men in America today, man, that was brought over here in the Atlantic slave trade, man, on a ship. You are the Jews according to the Bible. And we're going to show you that. Let me get uh, Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Read. Book of Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Judah morning, man. The real Jew is at morning. We don't own everything. The real Jews at the bottom of society. We we suffering day and night, man. Right. We, we trying to we, we trying to get the work. We don't even have the ends to get the work. We, we're trying to pay the rent. They raising rent. Our our brothers are high on drugs, man. We we suffering because of this place. 
And it's not your fault. The reason why you're taking no drugs is because you've been oppressed, man. You've been oppressed so long, you don't know how to get out of this oppression. But the men back here that ICBK, we're going to show you, man. That's said the Lord, man. Read. And the gates thereof language. And the gates thereof language, man. Your leaders, your leaders language, man. The gates is to put up to protect your home. And your leaders like Al Shaft and Martin Luther King and et cetera, man, they failed us, man. They languished. They don't help our people. For example, we had, I forgot the brother name that was with uh, Donald Trump, so like, forgive me for that, but the brother that was with Donald Trump, he tried to uplift our people and, and shamed us. And sh yeah, Ben Carson, the water, sir. Ben Carson shamed us, man. And we think that's our proper leaders, man. We're going to show you, thus said the Lord, man, the real, proper, the real proper leaders of the Bible. Read. They are black onto the ground. They are what? They are black onto the ground. They are black, man. Let this noise pass. Salah. We're going to let this noise pass. Just like I was bringing out, man, we were showing you the real identity of Christ, that Christ was a black man and he sprung out of Judah. And Judah, the tribe of, the, the word Judah is short for the word Jew, for those who didn't know. So the Jews are black. Start from the top again and read where you at. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judah morning. Judah morning. Like I said, we are at morning. The so-called blacks, Native, Native American man and Latinos, we are at morning, man. We're at the bottom of society. Read. And the gates thereof language. Like I brought out earlier, man, our leaders, our leaders lead us astray, man. They don't help us out not one bit when they get a little bit of power. But read. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black onto the ground. They are black onto the ground, man. The real Jews, according to the Bible, you are, you are the so-called black people in America, man. You the real Jews. Not them stinking apostles that's over there in Israel right now, man. And that's the Bible. They don't teach this in the Christian church. That's why the true prophets of the Lord are bringing it out so you can get the proper understanding, man. Because you keep going to that Christian church, you ain't gonna be, no, you ain't gonna do nothing to be dumbed down, and they're gonna take you for everything you got, all the little pennies you have in your pocket, man. You ain't gonna learn nothing in the Christian church. That's why you should take this Bible and every scripture that we pull out, you should take notes and read for yourself and, and come back and, t and confirm everything we're saying is true according to the Bible, man. These are not our words. This is the Most High words. And if I can, we're going to keep it going. We got to give you all the descriptions of the Bible, man. Give me Job 30 and 30. We're going to show you all the color scriptures in the Bible because the Christian church teaches that color doesn't matter. And to show you how simple, simple you is when you say that, if I was to hit you and run down the street and you call the police and he asked for a description, I better hear you say color doesn't matter. Color does not matter. I should be able to get away because how simple that is, man. Color does matter according to the Bible. So lock it Drop that. Let me get Daniel's 10 and 5. I'm going to get that first. Daniel's chapter 10, verse 5. Color does matter according to the Bible. For those who didn't know, every time our people, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man, every time we, have, we bring up the color of Christ, they always go for color doesn't matter. That's simple, man. Like I just said before, the moment, if, if, I do, if I was to do a crime right now and run, the officer asks for a description. You should be so simple to say that color doesn't matter. That's how simple that is. That's to show you how simple it is in a Christian church. And we have to bring that out so you can get the proper understanding and realize that you've been taught a lie your whole life. But read. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And what the brother's saying is absolutely heavy. And this is why you should give a damn, DC. Because if you are a black man, your race matters. We want to listen to the world and the Christian church when it says your color doesn't matter when you suffer because of your race. America hates you because you're a black man. Black people have never done anything to America to deserve the lynchings and the treatment that we suffer. You know why they treat us the way we do? Because of our skin color. And that's why it matters the color of Christ. That's why it matters the color of all these men in the Bible. That's why it matters who Christ came and died for. Because Christ is coming to save the people that need to be saved. And that's you, black man. That's you, Hispanic man. That's you, Native American Indian man. Nobody else suffers what our people have suffered. You better listen to this brother. You better listen to this priest and the prophet of the Lord, D.C. Because God is tired of America. 
God is fed up with the oppressor and how he treats black people. That's right. You may not give a damn, but God gives a damn. That's and he's going to destroy America and bring this horror to our knees That's because right. of how they treat his people. Keep dropping it heavy out. Right, get that piece of profit, a powerful hand, man. Bring it a lot for our people, man. We need that strength in our community, man. We need real black men to stand up for our people because our leaders are not doing it for us, man. So we got to get the proper, proper way to lead, and that's opening up this Bible. If we go get back to the scripture to prove what I was saying earlier, man, like the Christian church have been so dumbed down and been so full of propaganda that they don't have any type of understanding. But we here to bring that understanding, man. Color does matter, like the brother was just saying. And we're going to prove according to the Bible. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold, of you, man. Right, like we were just breaking down the book of Revelation, man. Christ had that same wall, wall period with the, with, with the uh, golden girdle across the paps, man. It's in the book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse 5, giving the backing up revelations, man. Read. Verse 6. His body also was like, like the burrow, and his face as the appearance of lightning. Right, like we were just breaking out. Like his eyes was red, man, from drinking. He, he had a he had an anger face. You know how black people, you know how Jake is today, man. He looks serious, man. We all look serious. We all know that's a black race. These so-called white white people look effeminate, man, proud. They don't look, their face with lightning, man. They don't look strong. They weak. But Christ was a Christ was a man of war, man. That's why he had that face of prince of lightning. Read. And his eyes led to fire. And his arms and his feet like in color to polish. So I can go back to the word. Read that one more time. Come, come. And his eyes led to fire. And his arms and his feet, like in color. And what? Like in color. And what? And like in color. In color. Color is in the Bible if you didn't know that. Color does matter, man. That's right. Color is in the Bible. This is Daniel chapter 10, verse 5 for you Christians who didn't know. Color is in the Bible. Colors matters. The only time it doesn't matter when it when it pertains to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and American Indians. But ask a Chinese man or, or, or so-called white man or so-called African. They'll tell you color matters. But when we bring it out, for our people and our people, only colors doesn't matter, man. That's because that Christian church has dumbed down our people. We got to come out that church, man. We got to bring out all the descriptions of the Bible. Because every, every description of every person is in the Bible, if you didn't know that, man. It shows our people are the real Jews and they were black into the ground. For those who didn't know that. Right now, in our mind, we think the Jews are the, the, the so-called oppressing Israel when he's not. He's an imposter. We're going to prove that in a second, too. Now, get, drop that and let me get Job chapter 30, verse 30. We're going to break out all the colors of the Bible, man, because color does matter. That's right. Color matters. And we need that. We, we need to know that, man, because when Christ comes back, Christ ain't going to look like that bastard that's on the ground right there. He's going to look just like you, black man. That's right. And he's a strong warrior. He's a man of war, man. The Christian church has failed us, man. We got to come out that Christian church and come out with this Bible. Come, get, come grab your flyer, the true prophets of the Lord, man. Get the proper understanding. Come out that Christian church. They simple in there. They don't teach you nothing out, out of the Bible, man. All they do is sing and dance and, 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 and lay the holy hands on you. And it's not working because you know that color doesn't matter. That's how I know it's not working. But we're going to get it. We're going to get the description. Read. The book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black. My skin is what? It's black. It's what? It's black. My skin is black. Color does matter if you didn't know. My skin is black. This is the book of Job, man. This is giving a description. They don't teach this in the Christian church. All you know is the angels are white. They, they, the little beautiful baby that's flying in the air. That's all homosexuality, man. That's, fat. that's, that's, that's homosexualness, man. The angels are not even... They, they, the angels are black, believe it or not, man. We're going to show you that at the Bible in a few seconds, but I'm breaking down Job right now, man. In the Christian church, they dumb down everything. But by, by, by the, uh, the, the, the little... I forgot what they call an angel with the bow and arrow. Cupid, calm. The angel with the bow and arrow, the white baby with the wings. That's not in the Bible, man. That's Christianity. That's, 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 that's homosexuality right there, man. Naked babies flying in the air. Come on, man. That's Roman mythology, man. That's a myth, man. Read. Book of Job, chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. And my bones are burned with heat, man. We just gave you the description of Job, man. Black, man. Color does matter. Once again, we're going to keep it going. We're going to show you. Like I was just breaking out with the angels, we're going to show you the true identity of the angels according to the Bible, man. Let me get Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 5. 
we got to bring it out because the Christian church is not going to do that. Right now in your Christian church, I don't know, that in certain Christian churches that I come from, we had a so-called white Jesus right in the middle of the, the windows. They, they, they showed the description of they Jesus Christ, but how come when we bring it out, color doesn't matter? But you have that white Jesus right now hanging inside of your Christian church. That's the color. And he's not white, he's red. And that's quoted to that, that, that's in the book of uh, Salaka, Jer Genesis. We're going to bring that out later on. But right now, we're going to show you the, the true identity of the angels for the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, if you didn't know. We're going to bring it out the Bible. Where are you telling where you at? The book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 5. Also, out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Of four living creatures. It's about to give you a description of the true angels according to the Bible. Not that wicked cubic homosexuality angel that they push in the Christian church and all through the media, man. Read. And this was their appearance. And this is their appearance. About to give you a description. Read. They had the likeness of a man. Verse 6. So I can read that one more time. But what? They had the likeness of a man. They had the likeness of a man, man. Not that baby cupid that you push in the Christian church, man. We're about to bring out all the identities, man, according to the Bible. Read. Verse 6. And everyone had four faces. Had four faces. That sounds like something off a of goddamn scary movie, man. Four faces. The angels had four faces in the likeness of a man. That's the true identity according to the angels, according to the Bible. We're going to get it to you. Read. And everyone had four wings. Had four wings. Read. Verse 7. And their feet were straight feet. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. Right, like a calf's foot. But, so like, let me uh, give a, a proper description. Like a horse. Don't you know the, the huff of the horse? Something similar to like that. Not the regular feet, man. This is the description of the angels. Read. To something totally different that you was told in the Christian church. Read. And they sparkled like the color of burnished bread. The color of what? Burnished bread. Color of what? Burnished bread. The angels have color of brass, man. Even the angels are black. In the Christian church, they teach you that the angels are these Caucasian babies that be flying the cupid, man. They shoot arrows at you. That's homosexuality, man. They got nothing to do with the Bible. You will not find cupid in the Bible. And, and I dare a Christian to come up here and prove it, man. You will not find it. The angels are even black, man. The color matters. Color matters. And for those who don't even know, we're going to bring out something real heavy for y'all that didn't know. Because in the Christian church, they teach that the most high just an entity. Even, even the most high has a, a description in the Bible. We're going to bring that out as well. Let me get Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. We got to bring out the description, man, because our people need to hear this. You have a power that looks just like you. You, you have, you, you have a, a, a government body, man, and it's in this Bible. And you have to know this so you can come back to your, your records. The Bible is the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indian records and, and ours only, man. These records are not for everybody. In the Christian church, they teach that everybody, these are everybody records, man. If I was to see, if you were in jail and I sent you a letter, and I, and I send you that, that letter directly, is that letter for everybody? No, that letter is for you and you only. And that's what the Bible is. The Bible was given to the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native American Indians only, man. Not for everybody. These are our biblical records. These are our forefathers, man, our ancestors, man. And we got to bring it out so you can know that because they're not going to teach that in the Christian church. And the reason why, because the wicked rule the earth. And the reason why you're thinking that he's right, everything that he say is because he ruled the earth. So everything in your eyes, he's right. I guarantee you it was a so-called white man right now teaching everything I say, our people believe it. Because that's what you call stock home, home syndrome, man. That was, that, that was given to us during slavery. But we gotta break that curse. We gonna break that curse right now by showing you the true identity. So you can get away from these daggone wicked people, man, in the face of the earth. Which are the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Read. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the Ancient of Days did sit. So like the what? The Ancient of Days. The Ancient of Days, man. This is about to give a description of the Most High. For those who don't know, Christ said, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. I know, Christian, I know Christians know that verse verbatim, man. Christ said, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. And we just proved that Christ was a so-called black man, man, according to the Bible. We gave the description of Christ. Now we about to show you the, the description of the Father, man. Read. And the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow, man. Even, even the Most High had a garment, man. He sits on the throne. We bringing you out to the identity of the Most High as well, man. Read. And the hair of his head 
like pure wool. Like pure wool. We all know that so-called black man had wool hair, man. Even the most high has woolly hair. For those who didn't know that, this is in the Bible, the King James Version, the same Bible they have in the Christian church. But they don't teach this in the Bible. All, they, all you do in the Christian church is sing, dance, and just have crazy languages. I don't know what you call that message y'all put push today. That that holy tongue crap y'all say. That's not in the Bible too, man. Th that gibberish stuff. That's y'all been taught that, man. They, they, everything the Christian church teach is hypocrisy. It's the opposite of what the Bible teaches, man. All our life, even even myself, I was a, I was partaking in that garbage, man. And when I woke up and read this Bible and I grabbed the flyer and I came in this truth, that's when I became free from this place, man. Cause this place is nothing but hypocrisy, propaganda, and wickedness, man. Sinful. It's a sinful kingdom. And the Lord is going to visit, the Lord is visiting this place right now as we speak and destroying America. Read. His throne was like the fiery flame and his wheels as a burning fire. Right, as a burning flyer, man. The most high has woolly hair, man. We just showed you that, man. Everything they've been teaching us, man, is the opposite. The most high and Christ look just like you, black man. I'd rather die like a man than live like a coward. There's a ghetto up in heaven and the south. Black power, uh, 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. 144,000. I'm just trying to make 144,000. One body, one face, one lord. Feel like I can take over the world with one sword. 144,000 men on one accord. Not being in this army is something. Can't afford it, real niggas across the board Ain't no suckers round us You was looking for the truth, well that's how you found us Now it's time to lace your boots up We got the order from the king, round the troops up Let's go to war and die defending this nation If we gotta, ain't no stopping us now The chosen people love the power Standing strong like a man, cause in our camp It ain't no cowards, it's not important for grand Nigga, it's step before the song Rather die like a man Than live like a coward There's a ghetto up in heaven and it's ours I'd rather die 